Okay, here we have the pedal power generator hooked up to the portable solar generator, the Sunrunner, in its auxiliary port. Just a straight hookup, very simple. We just put the uh, SMH Anderson connectors on it. And so we are now charging and uh, find a very comfortable, whatever's comfortable for you gearing wise on your bike. And you're ready to go. So we're now putting, uh, we're putting about 100 to 150 plus watts of power into, uh, into the Sunrunner. So when the sun's down, you do have other options to keep this battery charged to fill it back up. We were at 12.4 volts, we're right up to 12.6 right now on that 8A, 8D AGM battery. So this is a, is a great option. Uh, there'll be more information in the description on this. We're also going to hook this up to a data acquisition unit so that you can actually see the amount of power, the volts, amps, watt hours that are being created um, with your bicycle generator. So great little unit and we'll have more here in a bit. Just a quick look inside the pedal power generator. You uh, see one of these um, flex charge charge controllers again. That I find these things finding them everywhere. A little bulletproof uh, 12 volt and 24 volt uh, charge controllers. They have 48 volt as well. This is the NC25A-12. And with a scooter permanent magnet motor. And this is makes up the heart of the pedal power generator. So. Okay, we've hooked our bicycle up to a data acquisition unit called the Watt V sensor. And we're starting to measure producing. Let's see what we're making here today. Alright, you can see the meter. It just bumped up to 175 watts. Let's see if we get on the right meter here. There we go. Now it's at 88 watts. I put a, you can also do a large readout and back out here. Alright, so the pedal generator is producing 13.5 volts, 150, 100 to 160 watts. You see the amps are anywhere from 9 to 13 amps. That's pretty good. It keeps track of the watt hours. So that's what we're actually putting into the battery. So that's pretty, pretty good at a, a pretty standard, not killing yourself pace. Going at a pretty good clip. But making up to 160 watts, we've actually done it. We've done about 175, 180 watts. But we're putting that energy right now into the Sunrunner battery bank. You could charge any battery or any power pack you wanted, and we're measuring it to prove to you that we're actually making good power. And we're using the watt view sensor. We'll do a separate video on the watt view because there's so many other things you can do with it. All right, this is Engineer 775 signing out.